Hi, I'm Chart Gal Lori. I'm part of Chart Guys community. This is who I am. If you want to give me a follow on X at Chart Gal Lori, that would be lovely. Check us out at chartguys.com. So today we had our big names that were super green. We had XLE that was red and financials really took it in the chin today with overnight news. Economic calendar tomorrow we have CPI. We have CPI at 8.30 tomorrow. That will be huge, absolutely huge news. And we'll see how that impacts the market. All right, let's look at some charts. ES, ES is just now getting over the overnight low. We've made enough room for an hourly higher low, 30 minute higher low. Four hour uptrend. But on the daily, we're still below the 50 MA. It looks like a daily bear flag. Let's pull some fibs on this just to make sure. Yeah, still a potential bear flag on the daily chart for ES. NASDAQ still could be a bear flag. As long as we stay below 18,900, it's still a potential bear flag. Nice recovery today. We have an affirm for an hourly higher low. RTY, we're struggling here at the hourly 50 EMA. Four hour 12 EMA is overhead. And on the daily, we're bouncing from the 200 MA after we confirm the daily bear flag. So on the Dow, we have our second daily inside bar. The Dow's having a hard time just making any uptrends with the weakness that we have in banks. We have VIX. VIX looks like a megaphone, higher highs and lower lows without follow through. Today, 1890 was the low. We couldn't break 1883. But again, this looks like a megaphone. I'm just going to draw it roughly. Higher highs and lower lows without follow through. Bitcoin. Sorry about that. So Bitcoin is back testing the high of yesterday, 5811997. We're still a daily inside bar. And a daily lower high is anticipated compared to 59825. Ethereum, same fate, looking for a daily lower high. 12 EMA is, remains overhead. And with the dollar, we're trying to do an Adam and Eve reversal pattern. We need to get over 10192. In order to confirm that, we haven't yet. We're still below the EMAs. Gold's had a good day, a really good day. I was looking at 3.30 this morning, and now we're at 2 p.m., and it has been doing great. It's really taken advantage of this 15-minute weakness in the dollar. That could be a falling wedge for the dollar, so be careful, gold bulls. Oil, we have API estimates at 4.30 Eastern. We have inventory tomorrow at 10.30 Eastern. Daily bear flag confirmed. Oil, just, oil has nowhere to go. Like, it's just bearish. Just nowhere to go. 63.21 is your next support. SMH, potential daily bear flag, right here at the daily 200 MA, that's not a good look. We'll see if bulls can get some follow through. NVIDIA, NVIDIA potential daily bear flag. Apple, we got some lower wicks of bulls buying the dip here. 
I would, this is a daily double bottom, 216.71, 216.73. Looks like a tweezer bottom, actually. We have plenty of room for an hourly higher low. Tesla, we're up testing the high of day as we close. Again, we don't have a lot of earnings events this week, but we do have a ton of econ events. So CPI tomorrow. And we're wrestling with the daily 50 MA. XLF, we're bouncing from the daily 26 EMA. XLF had a pretty rough day, banks in general. They had headline news. We made enough room for an hourly higher low on a pullback. And XLV, daily inside bar bull break. We've gotten over that 155.66. DJT, I have this on the list because of the, de the debate tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. It saw some early morning volume, and I'm assuming it's because of the debate, but we're still looking for a daily lower high. So bears will be chomping at the bit to get some of this on the daily lower high. MSOS, wrestling with a daily 50 MA, daily inside bar. Cannabis could get a mention or a shout out at the debate tonight. We are looking for a four hour higher low compared to 636. All right, that is it for your market recap.